Welcome to the Daily App Show iPad Edition. Today we're going to take a look at Math Flash HD. Math Flash HD allows you to teach math and tutor math much better using the iPad. Now, unlike other applications that are limited to only one user, this app allows you to have multiple students. And so let me show you that feature first. Up at the top left, you can see we have our student list right here. I have myself listed and my wife. You can see on my report card down here below for student Jared, I have an A in addition. And if I go and click on Mallory, you can see that there are no grades yet because she has yet to play the game. So let's go back into my profile here and let me show you how we can get a grade for subtraction. So let's go into settings really quickly. I want to show you that how you set up those multiple operators. So to get my sub subtraction score, I would tap on subtraction set how many cards I want in my uh, in my game here. I can choose multiple choice, try until correct, setting a time limit, allowing negatives, and then of course I can change these uh, these deck setups as well with these numbers. Top numbers and bottom numbers. So for example, first I'm going to show you multiple choice. We're going to do subtraction. Let's go back and start our game. So we've got our selections here we just simply tap on the number that we believe is the answer you can see we have our counter up here we also have the ability to change the theme the background theme and color style as well up oh, see what happens if we get one wrong and then it moves us on to a new problem And when we're done, we get our report card. It lets us know how many we got wrong and our completion time as well because those were items that we had set in our settings. So now you can see I have an A- in subtraction. Let's go into settings and turn off multiple choice, which is going to allow us to directly in enter our answers. You can see things have changed here. So I would enter 10 for my answer and hit the arrow to submit that answer. and I got 100% here. So let's hit accept and go back to our main menu. You can see now I have an A. And if I tap here, you can see my two report cards that I have gotten. The first one, which I got a 90%, and then the second one, which I got 100%. So my grade will change here. And the object is, is that if I was a little sketchy at the beginning and wasn't able to get some of these, of course my grade would start out lower, but as I progressed and learned, my grade would increase. You can see here under plus, I have a couple of scores as well. And of course, for me, addition comes easier, so I had 100% both times. And as I go in and try these different selections as well, I would have the opportunity to get grades and scorecards in those sections also. So let's go into Add Students. Let me show you how easy it is to add a student just typing in their name and hitting Save. And then you can see that we have their name right up here. In many games, we have the opportunity to do some learning. In kids' math, this is a real basic counting on the screen and finishing the problem. Perfect for a young learner, addition, subtraction, and both. We have an operator what, which is basically a completed problem, like 5 plus 4, except the plus sign would be missing, and we'd have to choose what we thought gave us the answer of 9. Let me show you that really briefly. So we have our question mark here. If 7 and 6 makes 13, what is that? Is that plus, minus, or multiplication? It's plus, so let's go ahead and select that, and you can see what happens. All right, let's return to mini games and do kids math. You can see here in this learning section, we have our 6 count here and our 3 count here. Makes it a lot easier for us to visualize what's going on. And then we have a counting sheep as well for our youngsters that we're just trying to teach how to count. So I'm in student Jared. Let's show you one last feature here. If we need to work out this problem, perhaps it's easier if we have the ability to write something down. We can rotate into 
the scratch pad mode here and I can actually write out using my finger what I believe the answer is here or if I need to work out the problem like carry the one or uh, you know whatever in a little bit more difficult selections I can do that. I can double tap to clear the screen and then I could simply rotate right back into full screen position where I can now complete my problem and get my score. You can see that the counter keeps going so when you have the counter turned on remember that you are also setting a time for yourself as well. So when we go and view our scores, our grades, we are of course seeing our time as well. You can see the time here a minute 21, 40 seconds. I'm also trying to increase my time as well as my grade. So this is a great solution. Up at the top right hand corner we always have our help. If at any time we can't figure something out we always have our help up in the top right hand corner that we can get to whenever we are in any of these screens. Either represented by that icon or perhaps by another button that says, I'm lost, help me. So I think you're really going to love this game as an alternative to the usual way of teaching students math. Um, having the ability to add multiple students to this game is a huge plus. It means that now this is a great solution for teachers, tutors, parents with multiple kids, all alike. So definitely check out Math Flash HD in the App Store today.